the moment. Right, there's Seabright on pole position, bringing that European experience to him. There's AJ, former Milano Trophy winner, former Power Bike champion, multiple lap record holder, leader in this championship. He needs just six points to take the championship this year. He's got big family support, and away we go. And the lights go out, and it's pretty even Stevens between Seabright and AJ as they gun a gas it into Paddock. AJ's going for the inside move early. Does he get it? Yes, he does. Who's that going around the outside? Going around mate? the outside. That's Matt Hallett, number 212, two, then. He was in third place, but he's just a little bit of drive there. He's going through the dip and up towards Drew's for the first time of nine. He's going to move back down in the fourth place there. Didn't quite see who that was, just relegating really him down. Looks like Sam Hurst to me there on bike number 91, the team buddy racing Kawasaki. But it is AJ, bike number 76, the championship elect then, who is leading the way ahead of Fenton Seabright, Sam Hurst in third, Matt Pallet up next, Joey Landon on number three, number five, Luke McRae side by side as they go in towards Surtees. But it's Luke McRae just about hangs out out there, but Joey Landon trying to go the long way around for the inside line into clearways. Not this time around, but that is your top five then with the number 76 of AJ leading the way. Down they come then, off of Clearway. Oh, somebody down there, unfortunately, on the exit of uh, Clearways there. That's our first dust biter for the year. Rider is up, absolutely OK, walking away from the bike. But uh, some police, unfortunately, somebody's gone chomp up there. We normally have a bit of action up there at Clearways. The marshals there definitely know how to put the overtime in. Let's uh, see who that is in just a moment, as it looks like Jake Packham lo losing going down. Go on, mate. AJ's retaking the race lead, and from Fenton Seabright, who did have it momentarily, as they went around Paddock Hill Bend there, but it is AJ from Fenton Seabright. Let's We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bikes there. Breakaway, eight bikes. Jerry Landon sticks it up the inside of Matt Pallet for fifth position then as they go onto the bottom straight. Then Aaron Monk right there with Elijah Everton. Of course, this is perfect for uh, Aaron Monk as well. Let's not forget about the Clubman 600 Championship because there is only 16 points. Yellow flags as they go towards the far end of the circuit over there at Clearway while the uh, marshals tend to both rider and bike. Rider's absolutely fine there, but it's side-by-side -side action between yeah. Luke McRae and Sam Hurst. And again, side-by-side -side between AJ and Fenton Seabright. Here comes Luke on the Triumph. Does he make it up the inside? Not quite close enough, but AJ then trying to square off underneath Fenton Seabright. Not close enough, but Fenton leads the way now. Wonder if there might be a bit of chatter on the radio there. That side-by-side -side action was a little bit close up there at Clearways under the yellow flags. I'll let the people who decide these things sort it out. But uh, do wonder if there's a little bit of a question mark there. Heard uh, Matt Pallon at the sharp end there. Matt hasn't been out with us much this year. I don't know if he's been racing elsewhere, but he did pick up a win at uh, Stetteron because he is definitely on the pace. So I think he's been getting some sneaky extra practice here, but he's come along and played with the big boys. And all of a sudden, it doesn't matter how quick you are at another club. If you're at Bemsey, you know you're earning your trophies if you're going to try and grab them. Oh, look at this. It's side by side. Uh, AJ. That's Luke McRae as well. Isn't it? Luke's all of a sudden finding some good speed. Seabright not really getting away with this. AJ seems to be lacking just a little bit at the top end there, but fortunately, no straights here at Brands Edge. But geez, he's so strong on the brake as he closes up with Seabright once again. Breakaway group L3 at the front and another three arguing over that second place. What are our clubman places looking like there, my friend? Can Let's you see those on yep. the screen? It is Aaron Monk who leads the way. He's seventh overall ahead of Elijah Everett by half a second. Jay Corty then currently on course to score 16 points. He is in third. Brian Mayer and then Tom Walker. So Tom Walker from the back of the grid inside the top five in the MRO 600 Ooh. Clubmans. Okay, he does need to go uh, quick there because that was a two-point gap between himself and Elijah Everett and fourth third. So they're definitely arguing over the minor placings there. Good battles all the way down the track. We're going to be in a very close eye on the sharp end there. Just a quick and one. Go on, mate. At the opposite end of the field there, number six, uh, Gareth Faith has come into the pits on his Kawasaki. Oh, great shame for him as the top three come across the line. We're going to complete lap four now. Top three covered by 0.272 of a second fastest lap of the race to AJ. 49.098. Top three or top five even all into the sub 49 second bracket. That's what you've got to be looking for. Oh, somebody go very wide at the top end there. I think That's I can AJ. see it's AJ. That's it's AJ. AJ. Unfortunately, he breaks himself a little bit of druid. He's going to be playing catch up now. He'll be so frustrated with himself. I wonder if he's got on top of those bike issues that he's had at center or if he's just riding around. thing is, AJ only needs score six points so he can pretty much roll off here and uh, finish somewhere at the back of the middle of the pack but AJ is a total racer he wants to uh, win this in style as Fenton Seabright now now the other question I'm going to ask is Seabright eligible for points I'm not sure if he would be <laughs> you, are, you are asking the wrong okay, person he is not a BSB rider but he is an it's international a rider yeah, exactly. so ooh, well, we know he excludes BSB riders but hey if you race overseas that means you're not a BSB rider doesn't it absolutely yeah so you mentioned Keith that uh, AJ needs to score six points of course, uh, after this race, there will only be 75 points yeah, left. And so 94 true. ahead of Joey Landon coming into this race. Oh, almost contact there between Luke Cray and AJ. AJ 
sticks it on around the outside there for the inside line at Surtees. He holds on to second place, but that was about as close as you want to get, really, isn't it? Uh, yeah, no, definitely a good little uh, rubber, rubber paint going on there. I reckon could have got the 400 grid out and given it a good little sand down there. Watching the rest of them come down into Graham Hill, pretty much spread out around the field. Now, what I'll be hoping is we're not going to run into any back marker action here as we complete lap five. But I tell you what, the pace of these guys at the front, they're doing, what are we, 49, some of the back markers in the 56s. So I think we could see some back marker action. So Tom Walker should have started at the back of the grid. It doesn't look as though he did because he's has got a 10-second uh, penalty applied. So that drops Incorrect him, grid position. Dropped yes. him from fifth place in class down to eighth place. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, you're right. That's why he's made up so many places in theory on the uh, screen there. But you're right. All of a sudden, he's right back. Unfortunately, he's a real snakes and ladders race for him. AJ, as I suspected, now he had a clear track in front of him, effectively. He has set the fastest lap. He's into the 48. 48. 801. That is the pace of AJ lap, at the moment. Lap record is a 48 flat by Paul Young in 2010. That would have been a full BSB spec Super Sport drive. Oh, yeah. This is a pretty bog standard um, R6, which was lent to him by... Matt Epps. Matt Epps. Thank you very much indeed you for the are memory. Welcome. Well done, Matt Epps. Well, he must be so annoying. Well, good and bad, I guess, seeing your bike going out there and being right on the pace. 48-8 last time. 48-1 for AJ. He's so close to lap record, but now they're into the traffic. So that's going to definitely slow them. I wonder if this is going to have much of an effect. What a great shape, Bradley. I would be amazed if we didn't see him actually hit the lap record here. No, absolutely. Only a tenth of a second away. There's a 14-year-old lap record. You watch Fenton Seabright down from Druidge. The corner speed he carries in towards Graham Hill Bend. All the way trailing, breaking, all the way in towards the apex there. AJ is almost right on his tail there as he come out onto the Surtees. And uh, well, there's Sam Hurst just making his way through on some of the slower riders. And Joey Landon just behind him. Then it's Matt Pallet. But let's have a look. Then it's a go up towards Clearways. We, are, we do have one and a half laps to go. Then. And a 48.1, that is not hanging around. Uh, no, so that is so, so close. That old lap record, you, you're right. We've still got an old lap record than that here around it. We'll talk about that a bit more later as they come across the line. There goes Seabright. That traffic has definitely played out in his favour. He's now got an eight-tenth of a second lead as they come across the line to pick up the last lap. Right, um, I'm just checking McCray. He's picked up a penalty as well there by the look of it because uh, he drops okay. down a few places as well. He's got a little red mark against his name because I did see uh, Luke come across the line there. That could be a yellow, a yellow flag, flag yeah, infringement. We oh, thought they saw that. Pure, yeah. Purely speculation that it may yeah, well be I think that. That's yep. right. Again, that is speculation. So, so that promotes Sam Hurst. Oh, AJ's not with no chance here. The back markers are killing the poor guy. But uh, no, big up to there for Sam Hurst. Then third, their critical points for Sam as well. We'll talk about that in a moment as the leaders are making their way around. Uh, drew, uh, clearways for the last time. Fantastic stuff, though, from Fenton Seabright. And, of course, AJ. AJ, so, so close to that lap record. What a great shame. We're not going to see him stick it. Seabright has a look under his armpit. Sees AJ a long way, relatively, of course, a second or so behind him. But they're both into the 49s on the last lap there. Hurst does come across the line in third place there as McRae picks up that penalty. Drops down to sixth place, unfortunately, for him. Not quite sure what the length of the penalty is there. Could well be a 10-second one as well. Joey Lambert and Finishes in fourth place ahead of Matt Pallet. Good ride for him, Luke McRae. Then it's Aaron Monk critically takes the win in the uh, Clubman yep. Championship. So that's going to be 16 points for uh, Aaron there. No, that's 25. Uh, sorry, for a 25. Win. Sorry, I'm, I'm thinking. What I'm thinking of is the gap. Sorry there, yep. mate. Uh, to extend that gap. But Elijah Everton, he picks up second, of course, in that battle, doesn't he? So that's good news for him. Uh, Jake Cordy, where did he finish, mate? Uh, let's have a look, very quick look there. 5 3 1. He's in third position then. So, so 16 yep, for him. So that is AJ that's... confirmed as the champion yep. in the MRO uh, uh, 600s. And Aaron Monk then has a, ra has a race advantage then, is that right? 25 uh, points? 25 points there over Jake Cordy. Yes, exactly.